हेलो फ्रेंड आई एम मयूर गोंडलिया एंड यू आर वाचिंग स्कूल ऑफ फिजिक्स फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी अबाउट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्रीर सीरीज वी ऑलरेडी स्टडीड फोर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्रीर सीरीज इन प्रीवियस वीडियोस now in this video we will study two more properties which is frequency shifting and parseval's theorem let's start first frequency shifting this property of fourier series is defined as the shifting in frequency make the change in complex fourier coefficient from cn to cn minus m and fourier signal from f of x to f of x into e raised to i m x for explanation consider a fourier signal f of x with period 2 pi and its corresponding complex fourier coefficients cn in which cn equal to 1 upon 2 pi integral minus pi to pi f of x into e raised to minus i n x into dx equation 1 now if frequency shift change the fourier coefficients from cn to cn minus m simultaneously the signal is changed from f of x to f dash of x now the new complex fourier coefficients is written as cn minus m equal to 1 upon 2 pi integral minus pi to pi f of x into a is to minus i into bracket n minus m into x into dx say equation 2 if you compare it with equation 1 then it is found that in equation n is replaced by n minus m now simplifying this equation we have c n minus m equal to 1 upon 2 pi integral minus pi to pi f of x into e raised to i m x into e raised to minus i n x into d x say equation 3 here i separate the exponential term into two parts take f x into e raised to i m x equal to f dash of x then it becomes c n minus m equal to 1 upon 2 pi integral minus y to pi f dash of x into e raised to minus i n x into dx say equation 4 from this equation we can say that f dash of x be a fourier signal and c n minus m be its corresponding complex fourier coefficients comparing equation 1 and 4 we will find that when fourier coefficient change from cn to cn minus m the fourier signal is changed from f of x to f of x into e raised to i m x where m be the amount by which you can performing shifting operation so it show that when shifting in frequency changes cn into cn minus m the signal will get multiplied by e raised to i m x this is known as frequency shifting property of fourier series second parseval's power theorem parseval's power theorem stated as for fourier signal f of x its corresponding fourier coefficient cn for period 2 pi then average power of the signal p f of x equal to summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite modulus of cn square for explanation consider a complex form of fourier signal with period 2 pi like f x equal to say equation 1 taking its conjugate we have f of x star equal to say equation 2 here conjugate of f x that is f of x star 
conjugate of C n that is C n star and conjugate of e raised to i n x that is e raised to minus i n x. Now, average power of signal f x is represented as p f of x equal to 1 upon 2 pi integral minus y to pi modulus of f of x square d x equal to 1 upon 2 pi integral minus y to pi f of x dot f of x star dot d x. Here we put f of x square into two separate functions f x and f x star. Substituting the value of f of x star from 2, we have p f of x equal to by rearranging the terms, we have p f of x equal to now this part is equal to c n. Therefore, we write c n for this part equation becomes p f of x equal to summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite c n star into c n or which is equal to summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite modulus of c n square. Hence, Parseval's power theorem is proved. Friends, in next video, we will study about integral form of Fourier series. Write your suggestion in comment box. Please like and share this video and subscribe my YouTube channel, School of Physics. Thank you.